On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love doing live video online? If you're honest with yourself and your answer is less than 5, then you're going to love this video. So when you're ready, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's dig into how to do live video online for your personal brand confidence, especially when you're just starting out. If you're new here, my name's Abigail, I'm over 40, I create content and I guide other over 40 women through their digital revamps and personal reinventions, making an impact one confident personal brand at a time. Towards the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you the underrated superpower that you have for doing live video with confidence. And I'm gonna share an exciting new video series coming your way on this channel soon. So buckle in, that's gonna be a good video. So if you're like most of my clients, you are just starting out on your personal branding journey and you've heard about online video and the effectiveness and how it is a great tool for elevating your personal brand visibility. But just like most of my clients, you're probably hesitant to do video let alone doing live video. And I get it, you don't want to do video because you don't want to look or sound stupid. In fact, you don't like even seeing yourself or hearing yourself on video. And you're probably a little bit afraid of the tech side of doing video and especially live video. So I'm gonna give you a simple set of instructions and some advice and some tips to help you get started so that you can ease your way into live video and that you can start showing up consistently and confidently. My aim with this video is for you to take at least one step into the direction of doing live video. And believe me, there's a lot of steps that need to take place before you go live. And that's exactly what I'm gonna share in this video. So if you've thought about it, but you really have no idea where to start, or you're overwhelmed by the tech, or you're looking for a guidebook on how to get started with live video, then you're in the right place. The truth is, if you're not doing live video, you really are missing out on incredible opportunities because live video is directly related to the extent of your visibility. And those opportunities can be related to collaboration collaborations or being featured on other people's platforms or it could merely be missing out on client opportunities. If your prospective clients are not seeing you or finding you online then that's a client lost, that's income lost. And more importantly if you're not doing live video you're missing out on an incredible amount of engagement, real-time engagement with the very people that you know you can help with your products and services. Live video is the golden opportunity to really connect. The next best option to meeting with prospective clients in person is doing live videos. And if you're not doing live video you're missing a hundred percent of those conversation opportunities with real life prospective clients. And worst of all, if you're not learning new things, if you're not learning the technology, then guaranteed you're not growing. In fact, you're stagnating and probably even going backwards because I can tell you, there's a lot of people being pushed out of their comfort zones and they're willing to do the work and willing to face the discomfort of learning a new approach or learning new technology, learning a new platform. And those who embrace this zone of discomfort where the learning opportunity exists are the ones who are going to go much further. So which camp do you want to be in? This is your time to drop the excuses and stop telling yourself the lie that you don't need to do live video anyway. If you're a coach or a consultant or an online service provider, you definitely need to be doing live video. So here's what you need to know about doing live video. First, you need to know the types of live video you can do. And secondly, you need to know the basic setup that you can use. Really beginner level setup just to get you started. Actually, I'm only gonna cover the first part, the types of live videos you can do in this video because when I edited this video, the final edit landed up at 30 minutes long, which is a bit too long for one video. So watch out for part two where I will cover step number two, the basic setup and prep for live video. So first of all, let's look at the types of live video that you can do. You know, we've all got unique personal brands and what makes us unique is us our own character traits, personality, likes, dislikes, strengths and weaknesses, all these things that make us the human beings that we are, the unique human beings that we are. And those of us who are building authentic personal brands use all of these 
human personal character traits as part of our toolkit in our personal brand strategy. So not all of our personal brand strategies are going to look and sound the same. You might like a certain type of video and I might like a different kind of video. It's just knowing what works best for you. So knowing what types of live videos are available for you to do, you can then choose the one that you're gonna get started with, build your confidence with, hone and build your consistency, and then you can look into doing other kinds of live video. So here's a list of the kinds of live video you can do to figure out which one suits you best. You can do educational sessions, which is kind of like doing a webinar. I'm sure in this modern age, you've probably attended a webinar or two of your own. These are just online live sessions where you teach a specific theory or a methodology. You're basically educating your audience on a particular subject. Then you've got coaching or Q&A sessions. So this could be where you are coaching and addressing a particular audience member's issues or you're taking questions from your audience and answering those on the fly. So the topic of that live session would be very much guided by your audience's current need. You could also do how-tos or demos in your live video. So if you have a product for instance and you want to show your audience how to use the product or get the best out of it, get the best performance, you could do a live demo session doing exactly that. Or it might not even be related to your product. It could simply be a how-to instructional live session where you teach them something step-by-step -step and really hands-on. So it's more of a practical application than a theoretical educational session. You could also do live interviews. So you could invite guests onto your live session and interview them, get to know a little bit more about them. And ideally, you would want that session not just to be about learning the nitty-gritty of your guest but that your audience walks away with something useful something that your guest can teach them because at the end of the day we know that we don't know it all and so it's useful to have a guest with a certain skill set and expertise and if you get them onto an interview on your live session they can teach your audience something new that is in alignment with your service and offering you could also do a live video as a behind the scenes so if you're making something maybe you're an artist or maybe you're i don't know a carpenter something that's very visible and tangible, you could do a live session where you're just showing a behind the scenes, whether you talk to the camera and explain what you're doing, or maybe it's just a quiet helping people join in and seeing behind the scenes of what it is that you do. These days people are very interested and they want to know how you do what you do. So getting a glimpse of that is, uh, it feeds the curiosity. The next kind of live video you can do is a product review, whether that is somebody else's product that you've recently used that you liked and you want to share your experience about, or maybe it's even a book review. If you've recently read a really good book that you think your audience will find valuable, you could do a live session and give them the cliff notes of what your biggest takeaways from that particular book was. And then lastly, the final kind of live video that you can do is featuring a client, having a customer on your live session with you and getting them to share their story. There is no better way to showcase your expertise and the value of your products and services than by having somebody else explain how good it is. From a relatability point of view, it's perfect for your personal brand because when somebody else is sharing their experience of working with you or using your product, it becomes relatable to your viewers who put themselves in the shoes of your, your client, your customer who is sharing their experience. So this is a really great way of showcasing a case study for what it is that you're offering. And as a double win-win, it also gives exposure and visibility for your client or for your customer. So if they have a business of their own, you're giving them a spotlight to perhaps get some extra clients from your live session. So it's a win-win situation for both of you. Those are the different kinds of live videos that you could do, and it's up to you to fill into each one of them and identify which one would work best for you. And how do you know which one works best for you? It's the one that you would enjoy doing the most because when it comes to doing live videos consistency is really really key so you have to enjoy 
doing the live video in the first place if you have any chance of making it a consistent part of your personal brand strategy. And that's gonna lead directly to increased visibility and increased confidence. But confidence doesn't happen overnight, which is where we cycle back around to habits and consistency. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And I know that so many of us really struggle to hear ourselves and see ourselves on, on camera. I do too, and to this day, I, you know, it, it's still uncomfortable. But I've gotten used to it. I've desensitized myself to my own voice and my own appearance. And also, I've had a major reframe, which brings us to our superpower, right? Because when you realize that you do have the superpower, it kind of wipes out all of that fear about what you look like and what you sound like. Now, hands up, my inner critic has a field day when I'm having a bad hair day or a bad skin day or just a bad face day. Honestly, I, I totally get it. <laughs> but then I discovered my underrated superpower and it's the exact same superpower that you have. So come on in. Your superpower is your authenticity. And there is no better way to let your authenticity shine than through live video. As somebody who has confessed several times before, I much prefer recorded video because I can edit out all the bloopers. Just watch to the end of this video to see exactly how many bloopers there actually are. So I'm skilled at editing out the bloopers, but when it comes to live video, you can't edit out the bloopers. The bloopers are there to stay. But you know what? The truth is, that those bloopers are what demonstrate your authenticity. Those bloopers are what make you human and relatable to your audience. Those bloopers are what is going to get your audience to like you and then trust you. Because they're gonna feel like, oh my goodness, she's not perfect. She's just like me, I get it. I get this girl, she gets me, we're on the same page. I mean, just think of your favorite Hollywood movies. They deliver their lines, edited together, and it looks all fancy, but then they show the bloopers at the end, and for me, that's the best part, because then you really see that, you know what, these actors who are super professional, used to being in front of the camera, they're beautiful, they're handsome, they've got everything going for them, and they still mess up. Those are my favorite parts. That's what makes me like the movie more and it's what makes me like the actor more. And what I have found in my own personal experience when I create videos like this, the pre-recorded ones, and especially the ones where I read off of teleprompter, which I'm not doing right now, my teleprompter ones are too perfect. There's no bloopers because I'm reading them off a teleprompter and then I've got no bloopers to share and I find not only do I not have bloopers, but my delivery is a lot less authentic and it's a lot more stiff. So there is a real value in bringing your whole self, your perfectly imperfect self to your live videos. And again, I've been there before doing live videos and then having technical issues and not being able to figure things out and thinking that the world is going to be laughing at me because I'm getting it wrong. I've been there, I felt my cheeks get redder and redder and redder when I can't figure out what's going wrong. But you know what? I survived and you know what the people who you are truly meant to serve the people who are your true audience members they're gonna love you even more for showing up and doing it imperfectly the people who criticize you and point out what you're doing wrong they're not your audience those are not the people that you're trying to attract those are not the people that you even want to work with so don't worry about them don't stop yourself from showing up for fear of what those people might say care about the people who care about you. Love the fact that live videos have the bloopers already built in. Flawed humans love and appreciate other flawed humans. So embrace it, make it part of your personal brand strategy. Most of my clients always say they want an authentic personal brand. Well, that means not being perfect. Those are my kind of people and I'm talking to you. And what you'll find when you embrace the bloopers and the possibility of things going wrong is that the more you do it, the easier it gets. Start small, but just start. So if you're not convinced of the value of going live on video, but you're still dubious about doing video, let alone live video, then watch this video where I shared 15 lessons I learned from doing a video a day for an entire year. Yep, I did that. Which brings me to the new video series that I'm gonna be starting right here on this channel. 
I've decided in line with this video that I'm gonna start doing Abigail K live. Starting in a few weeks, I'm gonna be going live here on YouTube where I share some educational, useful, tangible and practical information for you to use in your personal brand. So if you're looking to increase your visibility or your authenticity in your personal brand, then you're going to want to subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when I schedule those live sessions. I'm also gonna be bringing in guests to interview to help over 40 women entrepreneurs with their personal brand, their confidence, their business. These sessions are gonna give you actionable training, advice, and insights to help you build your personal brand confidence. So if you wanna either join the Abigail K live training sessions with me, check out abigailk.com forward slash live for the upcoming date. Or if you'd like to be a guest on my live interview sessions, then check out the link in my description and apply now. After watching this video, are you more excited about the prospect of doing live video? And if you started doing live videos consistently from tomorrow, what would your business look like three months from now? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments down below. And if this video helped you today, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please share this video with at least one person. That helps get this information and inspiration out to more over 40 women so that they can go on and impact the world. Until next time, bye. And that's exactly what I'm gonna cover. And that's exactly what I and that's exactly what I'm gonna share in this video. The next best op, uh, the very, the next best option. And if you're not doing that, you're missing every single one of those opportunities. And if you're not doing that, you're missing every,